Hi there everyone and welcome to another Catasis video. Uh, today I'll be answering a question from Yan Co from the Unreal Engine forums. Uh, just before we start, I'm going to pre-warn you that as you can tell I'm not very well, so uh, you know, my voice is going a bit, but I'll try my best to stay with you here. Uh, this will be quite a simple video today, uh, just explaining how to use a, well let's go to his question actually, it'll probably be easier to explain. Uh, so Yan's Code writes, Hi, any guides out there for Unreal Engine 4 Paper 2D? Dot dot. <laughs> About using Z layer? Dot dot. Something like the RPG Maker series layers? Dot dot. Something about depth illusion in 2D, dot dot, like overlap t overlapping 2D actors, dot dot, or in front of behind of walls, dot dot. Right, <clears throat> so for this, as you can probably tell by now, uh, we're actually going to be using the, uh, looking at Super Distro, uh, which is a game that I made not too long ago. It, it took quite a while, I mean, about three years, but um, we'll, we'll have a look about how I did it in there. Um... I wasn't really happy with Super Distro. Uh, I'm planning on redoing it when I get a spare moment, just turning it back more into the original idea. But uh, let's, you don't need to know about that. It's my little secret. Um, but anyway, let's find out about Z Order. Enough rambling now. Um, what is Z Order? What the heck is a Z Order? Can I Z Order? No, you can't. Yes, you can. Of course you can if you want, if you're a good boy or girl. Right, basically. I'm not sure if you can see very well because it's quite a dark background. Um, let's just try and make this a bit bigger. It's really hard to do with this mouse. Uh, if you go down a bit, can you see here uh, this black black stuff? Um, when I move up, it's still there. Do, do, do you know what that is? Can you guess? Uh, basically, it's just the actual background. Uh, what's happening is because these are both 2D sprites, uh, one has higher priority over the other because they share the same Z order value. So when you're thinking of Z order, think of real pieces of paper. You can't have five pieces of paper in the same place showing all the you know images or data on those pieces of paper. So or put your hands down on the table. Put one there and put another right on top of it. As you can tell, you can't see under your hand. That's unless, you know, x-ray specs. So that, that's quite cool. If you've got x-ray specs, uh, props to you. But anyway, you can't actually see your hand. Um, in, in paper 2D terms, that's because your hand has a higher Z order than the bottom hand. So in order to sort this out, all we'd need to do is make sure that the graphics in the front have a higher number in the Z order than the graphics in the back. Uh, little fun fact, the uh, original PlayStation didn't actually have a uh, Z buffer at all. So they had no, when you're thinking about 3D, you've got X, Y, and Z. They had no Z value. They had to completely fake it with code. How badass is that, mate? <laughs> Right, I think I'm going a bit loopy from this cold. Let's just actually get the data done because I'm I'm sure you're already bored of my rambling. So to do it, it's very simple. Just let's click this. Uh, this I'm clicking the background now is a pre-constructed I can't say that word. Blueprint. It's a pre-constructed blueprint. So it just means that I've created it already and put the flipbooks in there. Um, the flipbooks are child of a scene component. The reason I'm telling you this is because in the uh, in the actual blueprint on the side, if you want to quickly edit this, you'll have to select the flipbook in question. So say you brought a sprite or a paper 2D into the scene, you'd have to select the actual sprite or the actual flipbook in order for this to work. So let's, I believe that was, oh, zoomed out, um, here we go, one inherited. So that would be the, the black bit that's, you know, sticking out when it shouldn't. If you see here, all we have to do is scroll all the way down on the smallest, oh, pardon me, smallest screen ever, all the way down to rendering. All right, in the details panel, there's rendering. Translucency sorts priority. As you can see, it's five. That's ridiculous for the background. So let's just, I don't know, let's try minus five. There you go magic so if we play quickly uh, there we go you can't really see it can you see how the actual thing just behind it is actually coming in front of it in game again 
same problem so let's just uh, click 2 which is behind it so what is its translucency order minus 2 so that means if you verse minus 2 versus minus 5 obviously minus 5 is a lower number so we really should actually have it as a higher number so very simply if we just change it from minus 5 to minus 1 and then play <sighs> I always say sorry and then play there you go it's there perfect um, and this can sort out a multitude of problems you can be having so say for example your uh, your player character keeps disappearing behind something you don't want that just change her <coughs> oh, please excuse me just change the uh, translucency sort order um, and if you want to make that core effect as if they go in a building site, just do the same thing. Um, but yeah, let's just do one quick another example just to make sure. See, uh, I've clicked now the actual player controller. The, not the player controller, the player character. So we'll click the actual sprite. So there's the actual sprite. As I said, you'll have to do this in order to change it. Scroll down to rendering. Translucency sort order. I've actually got it on minus five. Let's change it to something stupid like six and actually see what happens because I haven't actually tried on him yet. As you can see, his foot's getting stuck behind the uh, the floor. Um, so there's not really much to say more about it. Uh, I totally just left the uh, the volume there. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about it. I hope that helps some of you if you have any trouble with Z, Z orders. Uh, again, as always, sorry for dragging it on, but you know that's kind of my thing to tra drag things on um, if, if this helps you uh, like it I guess I don't know tell your friends uh, whatever you really want to do add it to your favorites uh, print out the video if you're in the future or drop a comment um, if you need it to be more understandable if you don't understand uh, hang tight I am actually uploading a small kind of mini written tutorial on Katatus soon about it um, and I'll throw in an example project uh, showing how to do it as well um, I don't really know how to make an outro very interesting so I'll just leave it there um, remember to subscribe if you want to be spammed every time I upload a video and have an awesome night evening day morning whatever it is where you are bye everyone Thank mm -hmm. you.